Good evening. Cloud covered all of us today, but it made it very different from north to south. Let's take a look at all of today's details. We had a moose hill above 9 in Castle Main, got to 10 and a half in Bendigo, 15 in Kerrang, 16 in Swan Hill and in Bell Reynold. Saw the cloud, but milder temperatures. On the satellite picture, high pressure is centred to our northeast, but low pressure is developing over the bite. This is spreading cloud over the country and most of Victoria was covered. There were isolated showers and those areas of drizzle near the ranges. This brought those large temperature differences. This was only 9 in Ballarat, but 17 in Bansdale and Mildura. On the synoptic chart, a weakening cold front will slip across Victoria tomorrow. A band of showers will affect western and then central parts. Northwesterly winds bring us warmer temperatures before a strong cold front sweeps through on Thursday. We will see widespread rain, then cold showers. To the forecast, we have spring warmth. Isolated showers pass through in the afternoon so it is dry for much of it and quite sunny and our temperatures are jumping up 15 in Maryborough and in Charlton 17 in Echuca and 21 in Bell Reynolds. so in Bendigo three overnight and then a warmer 15 a mostly sunny morning before a period of showers in the afternoon in Melbourne quite sunny and 17 before showers hit mid-afternoon and to the outlook it is even warmer on Wednesday Bendigo up to 17 Swan Hill 22 Two. Skies are partly cloudy and we have isolated showers. It cools down on Thursday with that rain. Latest guidance brings us 5 to 10 millimetres. Friday has widespread showers near the ranges but more isolated in the northwest. So tomorrow it is warmer and dry for much of it. Bruce. Jane, thank you. Finally tonight, Central Victorians got the opportunity to meet Olympic silver medalist Glenn O'Shea on Saturday. And that is how we saw you